Well, good morning, campers. It's uh, the 20th of March. <coughs> it's 7.15. It's only just over 40 degrees here, but I could slept with the window open last night so I could hear the music. <coughs> yeah, they're, um, I don't know what it was, what sort of music it was, but it's quite enjoyable. I like that sort of repetitive beat and what have you. I'm here on the drove up in, uh, just by the side of Stonehenge. Really weird it is looking over there yesterday when I turned up and there's no people about. It's all still shut down. Um, but, uh, what's that? What's that? Oh, something that flashed up. Almost gone. I don't know what's almost gone. But 178 people have bought it and it's almost gone. Um, yeah, so I'll get a bed and make a cup of tea in a minute, I think. Right, I'll let you take over a little quick scan about to see that there are uh, there are people about here if you can I'll look at the top end of the drive and then I'll let you see that there's a, a few people about here They would bring, I don't know. Um, I was going to let you look at the other side, but you see the little moving right there. But the sky, let me shut this window. I don't really want to get a, I don't really want to get a through draft. <coughs> Morning, campers. <laughs> yeah. So, where was me, buddy? Usually got no clues on. Let me look at it there. And what a beautiful morning it is. There was some people over there earlier on. You can't see them there, they've gone. They sort of looked out about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Bring this back down there. Back down there normal, aren't I? Um, so, yeah. Where'd she go? She went a bit wobbly this morning. And uh, <clears throat> got a bit of a. So, I thought a little bit. It's all a bit strange last night, so I'll like, um, let me put you on there. Let me put the kettle on. Do not put the kettle on. It will not suit you. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I was sort of, felt a little bit sort of strange last night, but I'm all right again this morning. Don't know if I've got anything coming about me or anything. Yes, I hope not. I did say to her indoors if I didn't <coughs> if I didn't feel too good, but I'll still go back to the nest. But what I should do is I shall plug in and uh, stay outside, sort of on the drive sort of thing, or the drive of Roy Park. And um she can com communicate with me from a safe distance. And uh, also that way, I can have me Sunday dinner put through the window, can I? Got to think of these things. Yeah, I've been on that. Um, I put a, a video up on, um, of course, my videos don't mean no harm. They're just like a, a load of rubbish and uh, just me waffling. Um, on. Is it? Is it? Camp overnight camping or park camping. Anyway, there's a chap on there, Robert. I don't really, I'm not going to take the mickey out of his name and I'm not going to make a comment. But his surname is K O C. And I, pre I presume it's, K it's either pronounced K -K or cock or cug or fucking cog. I don't, I don't know, you yeah. know. 
obviously a foreign name, Robert, well, it's Robert Cock, I think his name is, or, well, it's Robert and it's K-O-C. I'm not sure what it is, but apparently that, um, my, he's going to leave the site because of the, all the stupid posts on there. Well, like I said, I've written on there and I put their life I've upset him, I do apologise. But, um, what my, um, how my, uh, mutterances can upset somebody, I don't know really. Unless you don't like swearing. But, um, just feel sorry for people like that, really. But, um, the world's got to go on, you know. You know, he looks about my age. But it doesn't look, he doesn't look a happy man, which is thing. Maybe you should meet up with me and we'll have a, we'll have a chat and I'll teach him how to smile again. Yeah. But then again, it's not sort of, not worry, not, not, um, worrying. But I just like the dramaticness of it. You know, I'm thinking about leaving this site. I mean, God knows how many thousand people are on there. There's lots of people on there, aren't there? But still really dramatic. I, you know, I don't know. But anyway, Robert, if I've upset you, I do apologise. And, uh, and this is, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not taking, I'm not taking the mickey. I mean, because if I was going to take the mickey, I'd um, sort of look through yours bits and pieces and there is a lot of ammunition there. <laughs> but you stay frank, you stay safe, my friend, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and Zach, thank you for, uh, thank you for sticking up for me. Um, yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so what's bringing on today? I don't know. The sun's, uh, if you can see that. Can you see, see if you've got a lens? But the sun has got really, really bright. And it's, oh, it's made my solar panel kick in. Has it? Because my solar panel not kick in. I don't know if it's dirty or not, really. But, um, <coughs> oh, cool, blow me. Come round here like I cough on you. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I've had a cough since Christmas, though, really. You know, you know, I seem to get a, I don't know if any of you would get it, but I seem to get a wake up in the morning, have a good cough, and then I'm all right then. And then, um, oh, I did the other day, I bloody sneezed. I sneezed and started coughing, and I was coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing. And breathing out and breathing out, I thought it was a fucking blackout. You know? Then suddenly I sort of stopped coughing and went, <gasps> breathed all back in again. Yeah. But I don't know what today's going to bring. I'm going to stay here. Darren, my mate who lives up here, well, lives up here, lives in his van, about the area. He's a, he's a milkman, and I have just sent him a message asking him if he can get me a four pointer. But if he don't, it don't matter. I got enough. I got enough to do. I went in the bloody. Um, like I told you, I forgot me left me coffee on a fucking step and drove away. I went and got some coffee yesterday, and um, uh, yeah, went went went, um, went and got some coffee yesterday, and um, forgot to get any milk. But I still got a couple of pints, so it's always we should be right. Anyway, oh yeah, I was, was going to say maybe. <laughs> Made me laugh. I went into Codford, um, Codford stores, they call themselves in Codford, with the garages. Lovely people in there, you know. And, um, I, I, um, do fittings for smart cars. Or I do, I get a, I get a, I used to make them, I get a bloke, bloke makes them now for me. And, um, machines them up, and they're, um, oil filter kits for converting, um, the 405 type smart cars, any of you know smart cars, you know what I'm on about. The 600s and 700s to put a steel a spin on oil filter on instead of a paper one. So, consequently, you can use a. It sounds like a bloody sales pitch now, doesn't it? So, consequently, you can use a steel uh, spin on. I'm showing you then, I'm going, I was doing this spin on oil filter with a non return valve so you can keep the oil nice and wet, around, keep the engine nice and wet. We always don't run back in the sump. Anyway, that's by the by. I mean, because I got this. I mean, we got a, I got a pay for oil filter on this van, and you start up in the morning on this, and it's it's a little bit noisy, you know. I was looking to make an oil filter for these, to um, an oil filter return thing for these, which I, I could make, make one, thing, make one, and make one fit, but um, it would just hang down too low. 
So, it ain't no good going to beat it off, is it? Anyway, I was going, what was I on about? I was trapping on about something, wasn't I? Um, I'm going to have to do another video after this. I think I can't remember what I was on about now. Oh, I know it was. Yeah, Codford, see? So I goes in there and they got like two or three tills. And if you look straight at them, there's a till on the left, a till in the middle, and I think there's a the till on the right is... I'm not sure if there's three tills. And anyway, anyway, the post office till at the end, you see? So these have got to be weighed. <clears throat> and they're only small boxes. I use oil of Hulay boxes, which are indoors, gets from gets from work. And uh, they're just the right size to put them in and big all over the world, nice and safe. Anyway, so... So I just pour and put in water on me, on me tea and let it mash. Yeah, so um, I'm in there, see, because I'm sat, I'm stood, like, facing the thing. Anyway, the young lad comes out. And I've already put, because I had to post two of them, I've already put one of them on the scales. Anyway, he's looking at me, at me like, and he's looking to the scales and looking at me again. And I thought, well, what's he fucking looking at? So I looks, I looks round, and this woman at the, in the next hill got her fucking arm on it. She's resting, <laughs> she's resting on the fucking scales. Isn't she looks like somebody stood by a bar, and I went, "Excuse me," I said, um, "Could you take your arm off of the scales?" And she went, "Pardon." I said, "Oh, oh, oh, ever so smart." <laughs> Made no chalk fucking chuckle, <laughs> and then um, I stood there because I put the second one on. And the girl come from my right and wanted to get behind me, so I moved over a bit. And then next thing I fucking know, she's fucking leaning on me. Well, not leaning on me, but you know, but right up against me. You know, and I went, "Excuse me, my dear." I said, "Give me a bit of space here." I said, "You seem to be, you seem to be in reverse." And she went, "Oh," she said, "Oh, I'm so sorry." <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Yeah, it made me fucking laugh. I was going to say to her. You know, I would have said to her, if she'd have said anything to me, I would have said to her, you want to get the arena level? I said, you want to catch what I fucking got? I mean, that's, 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 that's a good one, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you ever go in anywhere and somebody comes anywhere near you and say, excuse me, could you give me a little bit of space? And, they, and if they just look at you, I say, because you don't want to catch what I got. <laughs> you get plenty of fucking room then. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, oh, maybe fucking chuckle. Anyway, peeps, I'll speak to you all, I'll speak to you all later. You have a lovely day. And uh, look after each other. And remember, stay. Obviously, there's some miserable bastards out there. Now, all of you, cheer up. That's a bloody order. Listen, cheer up. And whatever you do, do not get offended about what I say. Because what I say is only in good humour. Or good... I don't know what you call it. What do you fucking call it? I don't mean to upset anybody, you know. You know. But there you go. You never know what other people have put up with, dear. So um, you all look after each other. Remember, stay classy. No fighting. Bye-bye.